Okay guys, so it looks like Hurricane Jose is going to be with us for a while. Um, my, I, my suspicion here is that Hurricane Jose is going to make three passes by New York and on the third pass, um, when it comes around, it's going to join up with Hurricane Maria to create uh, some some form of superstorm that's that's gonna affect the uh, the New York kind of area. So let's have a quick look at the the model. We're on the 17th of September now, Sunday the 17th of September. Um, and we're just gonna follow it follow it through as we have done before. Um, we'll see the Hurricane Jose just comes up comes up by New York. Earlier models had it going across Maine. Um, up, up, uh, up this way, and also looping back around and coming back um, towards the east coast of the United States. Now, you'll see why I think it's going to make three approaches to New York. The first two, you know, caught grazing by maybe a bit of storm surge, some some wind damage along the coast but nothing too major that's around the 19th 20th of September and by the end of the 20th Jose's past New York and moving up up towards Maine and then you've got Hurricane Maria down here um, slowly intensifying and making its way slowly towards the East Coast United States Earlier models had it making straight uh, a straight B line for South Carolina, but the, this later model has a different outlook. As you can see, Hurricane Jose is coming back round um, again for its second second approach to New York. This hurricane isn't going anywhere, and Maria slowly slowly making her way there as well. We're now on the uh, 23rd of September. And this is the second approach to New York for Hurricane Jose. As you can see, it looks like they're going to meet up, but not quite yet. This is now the 24th, and Hurricane... Hurricane Jose is making its second second run past New York. Again, not quite making landfall, but getting close and then looping off and following its it, the same original track. And then you can see Maria just intensifying even more, becoming even even bigger, even as it seems as uh, that Jose is disappearing but then we're now on the 26th around 10 o'clock 7 10 o'clock in the morning and you can see that Jose isn't quite done as soon as it hits that warm water again it starts to come back you can see the eye starting to starting to reform now the if it follows its original track the first track took it this way, it's coming round after its second turn and what I'm thinking is by the time, this is the 26th so the way it's looking is like a two day kind of thing so by the 28th, 29th of September I think you should have, if what I'm thinking is correct, you have Hurricane Maria outside New York and Hurricane Jose coming to either join up with it or become two in this in the same area. Now I don't see it likely there being two in the same area, so I think that Hurricane Jose on its third approach to New York is gonna join up with Hurricane Maria and become maybe a super hurricane. I don't know if that's how these things work, but it, that's that's how I'm thinking this may happen. <clears throat> so, again, I'm going to keep my eyes on it, see if things change. Um, but at the moment, 
that little tiny Maria that was down here and, and little tiny Jose that started off over here somewhere, you know, have, have, have turned into these two kind of monsters and <coughs> as I said, if what I'm thinking is correct and if these models are showing some correct data, then I think that Jose is going to make one, two, and on its third approach to New York, is going to join up with Hurricane Maria, and it's gonna it's gonna be bad. So I'm going to keep my eyes on that. Spread the word. Subscribe.